After seven years in my comfort zone in Los Angeles, I needed a fresh start. I decided to leave the city that made me who I am today and try somewhere new. I could sell everything I have and just fly to a new destination. But there is no adventure in that. There is no fun. This is why I took my car and everything I could fit in it and decided to drive from coast to coast between Los Angeles and New York. The plan was to move in the Big Apple and start a new experience there. But things didn't go as planned. <sighs> what the? Traveling alone is a big mental challenge. Every mile you discover something new, every turn you see something different and unknown, and every day you have to survive. You're alone with yourself, with your own mind and your stuff. But isn't it what freedom is all about? I have a car, millions of miles of open roads, and a full tank. It's time for me to start the biggest adventure I have ever been part of. I'm driving from Los Angeles to New York, and this is my story. So we are August uh, 16th. That's about a month before uh, I have to leave, before the first day of the road trip. Um, I'm still trying to clean my room and as you can see, I have a lot of stuff um, to either sell or throw away or um, try to put in boxes and bag for, to make them you know, as, co as compact as I can for the road trip. It's gonna be a fun, fun road trip. I'm excited. Month, a month from now. We actually September 2nd now, um, so we are two weeks before the departure. Um, nothing really changed. <laughs> I sold a few stuff here. I had like a furniture that I sold, but that's it. Most of the other things are here. I think I'm gonna start parking real soon, like trying to get everything together. I'm very exhausted, I have to say. I'm very exhausted. It's just a lot of work. This plus other work I have to finish before I go, like companies stuff. I don't know why tonight I'm stressed. I think it's because I'm like realizing that it, it, it is happening, you know. It is happening. Like there's two visits for the room like tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. I'm taking down all my stuff, you know. It's so weird because when I realize I I fought for seven years to like get what I have now. Like in my career and my, you know, all my stuff too. And I always wanted to live in Burbank. I don't know why I love Burbank, all the studios and everything are around. But now that I'm actually living here, I just want to leave. I need to take care of myself more and to be happy and grateful for what I have. But I still think New York is a great thing to do. I know someday we could finally be. Alright, so the first step is to do an appointment for my little car here. Yeah, because you know, I'm gonna drive like 3,500 miles, so I just wanna make sure. Uh, the car is all good. All right, so let's go service it. The car is ready, so I'm just here to pick it up. And I'm ready to do 4,000 miles. Hi guys, so we are three days before uh, the 16th. We are the 14th, I think, no, the 13th today, Friday the 13th. And it's a full moon, so I'm gonna go shoot in Griffiths Park, but I decided I wanted to keep the bed. Um, I mean, just the bed frame, not the mattress. You know, I'd fit the mattress in my car, but, but the bed frame actually fits in my car, alone at least, and I have all the other stuff, so it's gonna be a challenge. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna take it apart. Let's go. So that's the bed. I'm gonna put it in the car. 
Gonna go wipe, take a U-turn. There you go. I have to uh, put the seat down so the bed can fit. Ugh. That should be working. So far, it's working well. Damn it. Look at, look at this, guys. This is the bed, this is the longest piece, so should be good to go. I know someday we could find a repeat. Yeah, sunset is uh, happening now and uh, still have a few clouds left. Downtown looks awesome. Griffiths Observatory looks awesome. And uh, the moon should be rising in about 10 minutes. Beautiful sunset today. Three days before leaving LA, I decided to go back to probably my favorite location in the city, which is Griffiths Park. I want to shoot like a time lapse. I don't have a dating light of the Griffiths Observatory, actually. I'm with Scott Welsh. Hey guys. I never realized how much this place meant to me. This is truly a unique place. Wherever you look, you have an amazing view. People are nice, in a good mood. Yeah. There you go. Now that's in the vlog. That's dinner. Yeah. It for sure is a wrap that Even if I had been there so many times, shot so many time lapses, there was one shot I need to do before I go. And I feel like it's perfect because it's super clear and we have some high clouds. They are gonna turn pink at sunset. Plus, we're gonna have full moon rising. How good is this for a last day, right? Couldn't pick up a better day. I had this shot in mind for a while, and finally the smog cleared up a little bit. I thought I couldn't shoot it before I go because imagine, it's Friday evening, I'm leaving on Monday. I thought I wouldn't have the right conditions to shoot it before I go. But then this happened. I guess it's almost 9 a.m. As you can see, my car is completely full, but it's actually not that heavy. And I have all the stuff right here. The first step will be Ralph's, <laughs> two minutes from here. And then after that, probably uh, the Valley of Fire in Nevada, and then Beaver tonight. So this is how it's gonna be. Oh yeah, so I'm just gonna set up this, and then in about 10 minutes, I think we're ready to go. Hi, this is it. I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I actually gave the keys back, everything is in the car, as you can see, it's ready to go. First stop is going to be, um, Ralph's, you guys with me? Let's go to New York. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The car actually doesn't feel that heavy. I feel like it's like having three or four people inside, you know, it's not bad. It's, there's definitely more volume. Oh, this is my desk, put on the sidewalk so people can get it. I have a full tank of gas, and this is it, guys. This is it. It's a weird feeling, I have to say. It's very, actually, uh, smoggy today. 
and there's drink. <laughs> Gonna need it. I got a. Uh, I have a tiny ass cooler. I got bananas because bananas are amazing. It's the best food ever made. And I have all my life in this car. I'm gonna get this uh, Osmo bucket ready to do some shot. The idea would be to cross, to, to film every sign every time I cross a new, uh, a new state. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do it. Obviously, safety first. I don't wanna die in a car accident going to New York. I wanna you know, live in New York a little bit. And I downloaded uh, Google Maps, offline maps, so if I don't have service in the desert, I will be able to have GPS at least. Yeah, we should be there about 2.30 p.m. So I'm gonna add the stop right now. It would be the hotel in Beaver. It's hard to explain what's going through my mind at this moment. I know I'm leaving LA for good, but it feels like just another road trip and I'll be back in a few days. I don't realize that it's the end of seven years. Seven crazy years in the city of Angels. It's the end of an era. Alright, so we're about an hour in. Only 53 hours left. <laughs> uh, I'm right by Victorville. It's doing good. The car is actually doing pretty good. But I just wanted to talk about, you know, this is it. Like I, I left LA and what do I feel? You know, it's probably what you guys are asking for right now, right? After seven years, 70% of happy to, to be living and 30% of, you know, nostalgic already. But it's part of it, you know, it's part of life. I have nothing that keeps me in LA, so now it's all about starting somewhere new, fresh starts. I felt like that's what I need right now. LA was kind of hard towards the end. I can't wait to be on those long roads with like no cars. Right now it's so packed all the time. Can't wait to be like in the middle of nowhere. It was just a few cars around or no one around. All right, first stop, gas station in Barstow. Oh, man. Well, that was quick. It was only $10. I had most like three fourth full tank. Yeah, I got it. Stop it. I'm doing pretty good job saving gas, you know, by driving a little slower, maybe like five, ten miles an hour slower. And then every time you go down, it's just, you know, stop accelerating and it just goes, you know. Right, not too much. I'm gonna pee like crazy. So I'm about one hour before Las Vegas and uh, because I have a stupid iPhone XR I cannot charge my phone and listen to music because I don't have Bluetooth on this car so I have to either listen to the music on my phone or charge the phone and listen to the radio but right now I use like more than 50% with the GPS and the music for the past two hours so I gotta charge it a little bit and I am in the middle of nowhere, so obviously there is no radio, or it's only country music, or Mexican music, <laughs> and that's not what I want to listen to right now. So it's kind of a boring section, plus it's going up, so it's recommended to not have the AC to avoid overheating. So because my car is kind of heavy, I have the AC off. So no music, AC off, boring roads. Uh, Alright, it's just the beginning. Here, I'm officially 
officially out of California in five, four, three. Welcome to Nevada. <laughs> I'm officially out of California now. Yeah, I wanted to do like a full tank, even if it's, how much was it? 15 bucks, not too bad. So at least I uh, have a full tank for the Valley of Fire, uh, cause I don't know how big it is. I feel like it should take me about an hour if I just, unless I stop. I actually did not um, stop in Las Vegas because I already have a lot of time lapses of Las Vegas. And um, yeah, I feel like it was kind of pointless. So yeah, kind of want to do the Val of Fire. And it's actually more fun. <laughs> I right, see you on the road, guys. I right, driving in Las Vegas right now. I hate Las Vegas. I like hating Las Vegas. I don't know why I don't like Las Vegas anymore. I shot so many time lapses from up there, from like hotel rooms and from the ground too. It's definitely a lot of lights, time lapse photography. That's pretty cool, but I don't know. I don't like it. It's like a desert city. It's Las Vegas. Las Vegas is Las Vegas. Forty minute drive after Las Vegas, I reached the Valley of Fire, a state park that was on my bucket list for the past few years. They don't allow drones inside the park, that's why I stopped a few miles ahead to show you the area. I hope the wind is okay. There's a little bit of wind, but I should be able to fight the drone because it's completely, you know, it's a desert, so I can do some shot around here and I might do like a tracking with the car. It's gonna be kind of dope actually. Yeah, so I'm gonna set up the drone right now and just do a few shots. I got some cool drone shot. Woo! There you are. <laughs> there you go. $10, right? Yeah. Uh, I think I have. Uh, I only have 20 oh, that's Is that cool? Okay. Open the information center four miles down. Right. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. No drugs. Ah. <laughs> I knew that. There's a sign that says no drugs. It's like red, like those rocks are red right here. That is incredible. That's why it's going fire, maybe it's like uh, orange stuff. Guys, 
It's insane. Yeah, there's a view right here. Oh man, it's so windy. This is awesome. Such a first day road trip. I feel like it was worth coming here. Again, I apologize if the sound is bad. Alright, it's time to go to Beaver. It was just a quick look. I don't want to stay too long here. There's, I mean, it's, oh, I mean, this, it's awesome, but. I feel like I have more, a lot more to do in the cities. But I just wanted to come by, you know, kind of get a look at it. And yeah, I think that's it. I don't know how long we have until, well, we have a good three hours, so I should go. Oh, it's windy. How do I feel? Can I want to talk? I like talking about my feelings. I feel like it's important for the documentary. I feel good actually. I feel pretty uh, pretty excited to be here. Even if it's kind of, you know, like, it was like a 45 minute stop, it's awesome. Like, I can't believe like I'm going to New York. It's just insane. I feel like I'm still, I don't realize that I actually left LA for New York. That's c crazy. And um, it's still a little stressful, obviously. You, you're in the middle of the desert right now. Uh, pretty bad service, pretty much no service. So if, there's a problem and I have my entire life in the back. It's all good, I'm trying to enjoy because this is like something incredible and I feel like this is something, like when am I gonna reach the East Coast? It's gonna be like a completely different scenery. So yeah, that's why I'm just enjoying the moment right now. And it's just, yeah, it's amazing. It's another thing I wanted to cross on my, you know, checklist, Valley of Fire. Well, it's done. If I was closer to Beaver, I would maybe stay a little longer. I still want to take my time for this road trip because, you know, I'm not in a rush. I don't have to be anywhere. It's like freedom. Is that what freedom is? Like you have your car, you're in, you're in the US. I can drive anywhere I want. I don't have to be anywhere. I don't have a bus waiting for me on Monday. It, it, it is actually Monday right now. <laughs> and this is what I'm doing. How crazy is this? Sunset like this behind me, it's just wow. I think it's starting to hit me now that I am moving on the other side of the country. I am, I left Los Angeles. Since I have all my stuff, I don't want to leave like, you know, valuable thing in the car. Yeah, that's all I have. I have to go park my car. Um, so yeah, the car is like right there. Can keep an eye on it. I'm the only one on this side. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm going to copy all the footage I shot from today. I'm going to go take a shower, watch TV, just relax. Because I need it after. Almost nine hours on the road, eight hours driving, it's a, it's a lot. Um, all right, so I'm gonna cut, and I'm probably gonna see you a little later or tomorrow.